so uh, hipsters are faggots. I don't know if you guys know that. Um, I don't want to hit a lot of them. And I'm in their arena right now. Gotta get the fuck out of here. Oh, shit. Yeah, don't hit that car. <laughs> don't hit that car trying to hit the hipsters. <laughs> That's smart. Oh my god, these people need to get out of my fucking way. Like, for real. We get out of here without hitting a vehicle. This is really, really difficult. Way more difficult than it needs to be. Jesus Christ, and that guy almost got hit by my car. Here, pull up over there, and then you can back out more easily. And you'll have more room. Okay. I really regret making this decision, you guys. Uh, like, I don't know how the fuck I'm gonna get out of, out of here, man. And like, nobody cares. Like, I think that your your car is a lot smaller than it feels like it is. You know, so you can do this, guys. You can do it. Just there you go. You'll do it. You'll be able to do it. You'll be able to do it. Don't hit that motherfucker. <laughs> and his fucking worthless ass life. <laughs> and early. Save him the trouble of having to commit suicide later. Okay. We're never doing that again. say that all you want, but there's probably going to be an instance in your life when you will do that again. <laughs> okay. Jesus Christ. Just keep saying his name, eventually he'll come back. <laughs> right? Bullshit, man. I don't know how the fuck people drive in cities. I really don't. Yeah, but you're lucky you're in that little thinky. That little thinky shitter. Let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, we're gonna die. Just kidding, we made it. So I just bought this album, the Apples in Stereo. I already know that they're good, but I don't have this album. I don't think I have anything by the Apples in Stereo. I also bought Ziggy Stardust, uh, which I already have on cassette, but uh, I don't have a cassette player in this car, and uh, my cassette player is fucked up anyway, like it just makes this weird sound. I don't know if you guys noticed this, the problem with cassette players is that, and I don't know what's with the technology about it, but like, it makes this really weird whiny kind of sound. I really noticed it when I like... Uh, use my tape recorder. Yeah, this is awesome. This hasn't even been opened, but it was only like six bucks. I couldn't pass it up. This was also not opened. Bjork, Electra, couldn't pass that up. This, some Afro beats that doesn't even play in my car, but I only like spent three dollars on it. I don't feel like this three dollars has gone to waste, especially if I thought it was going to be really good Afro beat. Anyway, so, uh, yeah, fuck hipsters, they're fucking faggots, I think I mentioned this. They just think they're so fucking cool, just because they know some shit about some music, you know? I've always told myself that I was going to work in, like, a record show, like, that's, like, my dream job, but it's really not my dream job. That's, like, a nightmare job right there, because then you, you like, just judge everybody, like, I asked this guy, like, he, he had some music on, and I asked him, like, is this Elvis Costello? And he just gave me this look. Because it sounded just like Elvis Costello, man. And there were, this guy that, that, uh, was actually playing, his name's, uh, what was his name? 
Graham Parker. Which sounds too much like Graham Parsons, if you ask me. But, like, that's why I was confused. Yeah, it's this guy named Graham Parker. He's around the same era. He was like, yeah, like, 70s. Like, see, that's why. That's why I got confused, buddy. Sound exactly the same. I mean, a lot of stuff mirrors each other, you know, if it's in a particular time frame. You know, I really hate everything. <laughs> you know, whenever there's like a band that like whatever they, they put on their album is like in really, really small print. <laughs> or like it's it's in like uh, some sort of like hieroglyphic like language. Animal Collective did this shit. And like I get it, they're weird, but you don't need to do that, boys. We already know that you're weird. Like you don't need to be fucking pretentious as fuck. You know? Like I really like this band. Um they're like a dance punk band. Alright. I don't know really what to call them because it's just weird. Uh, it's three exclamation points. It's just chick, 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 chick. But they're fucking awesome though. But I hate how pretentious that is. I don't know if they're just doing that to be punk. If so, good for you. You know, you annoy me. You annoy me and I like your fucking music. So I guess you're just trying to alienate your own fans. That's fine. But... I just got nervous because I realized that I'm approaching the bar where I'm going to be doing comedy at. And it just made me really, really, uh, anxious. <laughs> I don't get excited to do this. I get excited when I'm nowhere near the location where I'm supposed to do it. I'm like, oh yeah, it's going to be great. And then like, the closer that we get to it, the more I start to worry. I'm like you're supposed to do this and like you just tell yourself that like you're not supposed to you know just to keep yourself inside like that it's problematic you guys it's problematic I'm so embarrassed by them. Look, if you want to know why, like, I just, I get embarrassed, you know, when I open my mouth. Maybe that's why I only do that in private. And I get in trouble when I try to do it in public, you know? Anyway. no idea like what I'm gonna talk about you guys well now's a good time to dude you didn't even ask your mom for that stuff that you were gonna ask her for yeah cause I got fucking mad and left like fuck this shit I don't like it when my well I don't it's not just my dad but it's like anytime that somebody talks to me that way it's like I react like I want to react to my dad, you know, it's not really fair to like somebody that maybe they didn't mean it, they didn't mean to like come across the way that they sounded, but, okay, so this is what I'm going to do, the show doesn't start till 8 o'clock, but sign up till like 7.30, which is in 10 minutes, approximately, it's actually 9 minutes, I don't want to lie to you guys, I'm just turned 7.21, so. Jesus, that really fucking hurt. It still fucking hurts. So I banged my arm against like a rack of CDs. I don't like complaining about pain. It's just annoying because like then I think about somebody in a burn unit and I'm like, Amy, shut the fuck up. So let's see what I want to talk about tonight. I have to go through all these like 
collections of my thoughts that I tried to organize, but it didn't really work. Like, this is my confessional kind of shit, but it's like I could apply it to anything. So it's like, God damn it. I have a fear that a lawnmower is going to chop off my leg, which is not helped by watching that Mad Men episode. Um. <laughs> Why did I write leg? Look, you guys. Can you can you guys see that? I don't even know. I don't understand my own language. What do I want to talk about? Like, I always end up talking about something that just happened, you know? People say, oh, well, that's the freshest comedy. Like, everything's fresh, baby. Everything. <laughs> it's fresh because it's old as shit. Anyway. Ridiculous. Are you just gonna record while you just read shit? Because that's fucking stupid. That's lame. Nobody's gonna watch that. Watch me reading. How interested are you in my life and how I am captivated by my own thoughts? <laughs> God, I just, yeah. It's always like, oh, just, just, just read what you've been writing. But it's different when you're, like, at your house and you can talk to yourself about it versus, like, when you're actually there, you know what I mean? I just want to write a, uh, read what you wrote here. So I am exuberantly confident in my shit job. Okay, there you go. That's something you can easily read. Jesus Christ. I just wish I was comfortable, man. That's all it is, just getting comfortable up there and then just fucking doing it.
Okay. See, I always want to pull from this one because it's just so much fun. We, if we like really want to freak people out. Only the occurrence one warranted. I gotta do something to make the, the paper stand out so that I'll remember to. You're ridiculous, man! What the fuck? in there, goddammit. Just do it. Just do it. It's almost done anyway. 